Welcome to this MECO Graphics training video. Today we're going to talk about how to use CAGRs to improve your charts. The CAGR, or Compound Annual Growth Rate, is one of the most useful measures for showing growth over time. You can choose to use percentage change, which would be the difference between the ending value and the beginning value in absolute terms, or CAGR, which would be the normalized growth over the time period. In this chart, we're showing sales for each of the Apple products over time. The dark blue segment of the bar represents the iPhone. And you can see in this chart that it is 75% of overall unit volume in 2015. What we're not able to show on this chart is how the different products compare in terms of growth. To do that, we would need to add a CAGR column. Now let me show you how to add that CAGR column. If we double click on the chart, click on chart data to open the Macro Graphics data editor, we can add the CAGR column right here in the Macro Graphics data editor. So I'm going to type in the date range 2011 to 2015. And I don't have to use the word CAGR as the title of this column because Macro Graphics will automatically place the word CAGR anytime we assign this column as a CAGR column. Now I need to use the formula for CAGR in the cells. So the formula is equal CAGR, parenthesis, beginning value, in this case B2, comma, ending value, F2, comma, and the number of periods. So it's 2015 to 11, so we subtract the 2 to get 4, and that's our formula. And you can see that I can easily drag that down. Now I have my formula in my Meco Graphics Data Editor, and all I need to do is right-click on that column and say, set as CAGR column. If I close the Data Editor, you can see that the CAGR values now appear as a column on the chart. Now I'd like to make a quick adjustment to this slide. I'd like this legend to align with my CAGR so you can easily tell which CAGR value goes with which product. So I'm going to right-click and say Format Legend and choose Align to CAGR. Now the one thing that I'm missing from this chart is the change in overall product volume over the time period. So sometimes people will do it manually by adding a text box with the total CAGR for the chart, but let me show you an easier way to do that. So if I double click on the chart, I add a growth line. Now this is an absolute growth line and it's the difference between the ending value and the beginning value. But if I right click on that growth line and choose format growth line, there's a number of things that I can do and one of them is to select CAGR. When I do that, you can see that the compound annual growth rate for total product sales over the time period was 26%. This is the fastest way to add a CAGR to your chart, but you can also do it in Excel. If I go into my Excel spreadsheet, I can add my CAGR calculation here. So I'm putting in my column title, and then I need to know the CAGR formula to be able to calculate it. So here's the formula, and I remember it by thinking, um, Values go in parentheses, exponent goes in parentheses, and you subtract one. So here's the formula. Equals paren ending value divided by beginning value, parentheses. You put in an exponent, and here's what we're going to do the number of years. So in our case, it's one divided by the number of periods. So it's one divided by four, close the paren, and then subtract 1. And then you get your 33% CAGR value over that time period. So that's how you can use a CAGR column to add impact to your charts. I wanted to leave you with a simple tip before we leave, and that's how do you remember what the CAGR formula is for use in the Macro Graphics Data Editor? If you go to Macro Graphics Ribbon and select Stack Bar with Growth, you can insert a pre-formatted chart that already has a CAGR column. In this case, it's column E in the data sheet, and it has the formula pre-populated. So you can easily use this feature to insert a chart with a CAGR column, or to remind yourself what the CAGR column formula is. 
Thank you for watching this Mechographics training video. Please visit our website for more videos.